create a UI action on task table called attach attachment to the RITM record. So let's understand the requirement what somebody is asking in this requirement. So, so if I go to the RITM table, so SCREQ item table, under this RITM table, we have a task, right? So if I open, this is the RITM and normally RITM have a task, right? So this is the task. So in the task, they want a button. So, and you can see in this task, I have an attachment. So what they are looking for, they are looking for a button call, any kind of button call, copy attachment or something like that. Once I click that, this attachment, uh, whatever is attached to the task will be automatically copied to the RITM. So this logic, uh, for this logic, I am going to use that client attachment API, uh, which is provided by ServiceNow. Using that, we can copy the attachment from any table to the any table. Like we have, we can uh, copy the attachment from incident to problem, incident to change, um, request to problem, any table from any table to the any table. So their requirement is to copy the attachment from the task to the RITM using a button. And also these things can be done through the business rule, through depending on your use cases, right? So what they are looking for, they are looking for, uh, uh, you know, uh, kind of, uh, we can say that button, but you can um, implement through the business tool. If your condition is whenever the task will be created, if there are any attachment, copy that. So depending on your use case, you can implement that. So our case, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to use that as an object called, we are using that UI action, right? So. So we are going to use that UI action as an object. And then here under the method, we are going to use that client attachment, client sys attachment API. So client sys attachment API. So let's uh, implement that. To implement that, first I am going to create a UI action. So I will go to the UI underscore action table and I am going to create a button. Call copy attachment. And this will be implemented on SC task table. So if you see the requirement sheet, they mentioned that it should be implemented under SC task. So uh, based on that, their requirement, I'm going to implement that is under the SC task. So I'll select that. It will be a server side. I'm not putting any condition. And then I'm clicking that form link. So the button should be form link. Now here we need to use the, our code. Right. So let's start writing the code. First, we are going to declare a variable called var attach. So this is a simple variable. And here I am going to call that new client sys attachment API. So this is my method and then this sys s will be in capital. So glide sys attachment, this is the API name. Now, once we call that API, it will be create an object with this attachment. Now we have a function called attach dot copy. And these function have four parameter. So let's understand. First, we have created a uh, variable called var attach, and then we are going to call a new and then glide sys attachment API. And then after that, we are calling this attach dot copy the function. The function name is a copy, and this function have a four parameter. Let's first understand the first parameter. The first parameter is the source table name. Source table name means that from where I want to copy, right? So I want to copy from the SC task table. So source table name is the SC underscore task table. Now we need to be give that source sys ID. What should be the source sys ID? The button will be present under SC task table. The source to get the source sys ID, we can simply use the current dot sys ID. So this will give us the source sys ID. Now we have to give the target table. What should be the target table? So when I click that button called copy attachment, it should attach to the RITM table, right? So the target table name is that SCREQ item table. And then we have to be put the target table 
uh, CSID, like this RITM CSID. How do we get the RITM CSID from this task? So we have a direct field called requested item field. So we'll say that current dot requested item dot CSID. So this way we'll, if we do the current dot uh, requested item, we'll directly, uh, you know, dot work to through this requested item and we'll reach to this RITM. And from the RITM, we can access any kind of field like number, catalog item, any field. So we'll do that. Uh, you know, sys underscore id. Now here we can put anything like it will be just if we do this one, it will just copy that. Now if we want, we can declare another variable called where it uh, something some variable st or something. I'm just putting that. And then after that, we can put some information like attachment is copied or something like that. In this case, we can put some uh, message called gs dot add info message. And then here we can define some kind of message called attachment copy. And then we can just put this variable name. Okay. So this is the simple code. Uh, we just have to be remember that Glide sees attachment API have ability to copy the attachment from one table to the another table. So our button is ready. Now if we refresh here. So now this is the catalog task. And if I scroll down, there is a related list called copy attachment. And if we simply, and if I refresh this RITM, so this is the task and this task have a RITM called 1004. If we refresh that in this RITM, there is no attachment. And our expectation should be like whenever somebody click that button, the attachment should be copied from the SC task to the RITM, right? So this is my, our requirement. So to do that, what we'll do, we'll simply click the copy attachment and you can see there is a one uh, pop-up message came up called attachment copied. And if we refresh that, the RITM, the attachment is copied to the RITM, you can see. And if I scroll down, it is showing under the notes right now. So this way, we can copy the attachment from this task to the RITM or from any table to the any table if we want. So what is happening? We're using this copy, I mean this glide, sys attachment API and then copy method, we can copy the attachment. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.